What is up y'all, it's Brandon. I've picked up some new Boston Scally hats since my last video I made back in February. I got the, uh, I got the Kraken. I got the Punk. I got the Braveheart. Got this in today, the Good Egg. It's a, uh, it's a spring hat. Got some pink in it. Got the, uh, the Independence Stealth Black. I tried this one on. I got it today as well. Man, it looks pretty cool. I think it may be one of my faves of the bunch. And uh, I got the Responder Military Green, I believe. It's got the camo underneath. I'm going to try all these on and let you guys see what they look like. It's going to be a pretty short video. Not really a in-depth review or anything, just kind of showing them off. So uh, here we go. Right, guys so the first hat is the kraken it is an eight panel patchwork style hat it's a summer hat very lightweight i believe it is 70 percent cotton 30 percent polyester very lightweight it's got a cool graphic on the inside of a of a kraken he's wearing a boston scally hat himself so uh he's definitely representing and I uh, believe on the website it said it was a great hat for like midsummer. The eight panels on the hat are supposed to represent the eight tentacles of an octopus. And the colors represent the ocean and sand. So I guess the ocean sand. Not really sure what that's about, but. But yeah, man, I'm really digging this uh, this pin, man. It's cool. I wore it to work one day for Crazy Hat Day, and everybody liked it. Loved the pin. So uh, I will definitely enjoy wearing that this summer. Here's what it looks like on my head. All right, guys, here's the cracking on the dome. Here's a side shot. Here's the front. Here's another side view. And it is very, very comfortable, very roomy. Definitely going to wear this a lot this summer. Uh, they say it's a midsummer hat, but I'll be wearing this bad boy from spring to late summer for sure. So, uh, yeah, the Kraken, guys. Going to pick you one up. Arr, the Kraken. All right, the next one I'm going to put on is the uh, the Punk this bad boy has a whole lot of green in it. Got the shamrock on the back. Got the checkers underneath. Got the graphic here, the punk. And uh, got a pin with it as well. Here's what it looks like on the dome. So here's what the punk looks like on the dome. It's a six panel. 100% soft cotton is what it says on the website. Here is a, uh, a side view of it. Like I said, it's a whole lot of green. They call it Irish green. And uh, I bought it to wear to work on St. Patrick's Day. But uh, I can tell that I'm definitely going to wear it more than just a holiday. Yeah, guys, here's the punk. All right, y'all, so the next hat is the uh, the Braveheart. It is an eight panel, peaky style hat. Came with two pins. I showed off my kid's uh, Braveheart hat in the last video. Mine finally came in the mail. It, uh, it got delayed by quite a bit, but uh, finally got it. It's, uh, I think they call it Thistle and Gray logos on the inside got the dude with the wings and uh really love this pen of the sword 
and the heart. And the heart's got the wings. Real cool. This one's pretty cool too, but not my favorite. So uh, here's the brave heart on the dome. It's got the leatherette brim. And uh, as you can see, the, the pins that I showed earlier. I like the way it looks from the side, the front, not so much. All right, guys, so the next hat is the uh, the Responder Military Army Green. I just got this one in today. It's kind of wrinkled up and stuff from being in the box, but um, it's got the camo underneath, just the, uh, the regular Boston Scally logo. And uh, this is a six panel cotton hat. So I think I'll be able to wear this pretty much all year round. But uh, here's what it looks like on the dome. All right, y'all, here's the responder on the dome. It's got the army green, the camo underneath. It's a really nice, comfortable hat. And part of the uh, the money they make on these goes to the Wounded Warrior Project. So that is definitely cool. That's a good thing. All right, y'all. The next hat is the Independence. I really love this hat. I'm going to wear this bad boy a lot this summer. It is, uh, let's see. It's 80% cotton and 20% polyester. The inside is very breathable. It's got the stripes here on the, the on the inside. Um, it is a very lightweight cap, very summer-like. So, going to wear this on warm weather days. And here's what it looks like on the dome. It is going to be a very nice hat to wear this summer. Will look good with just about anything. Black t-shirts, gray t-shirts. Gray polos, black polos, you name it. I'm definitely digging this one, man. I'm I'm so glad I picked this up. Very cool. So the uh, the last hat is called the Good Egg. It is uh, it's going to be my Easter hat this year. It's got some pink in the plaid, and uh, here's the pin. It's kind of weird, man. I don't know what's going on with this egg. He kind of looks a little jacked up, but people are kind of making fun of it in the groups and stuff, but I think it's unique. So, uh, of course, here he is on the inside. He looks like a happy fella. He's a good egg, so... He's happy, all is good. And uh, this is gonna be my my Easter cap and here's what it looks like on the dome. So here is the good egg on the dome. It says it is 100% polyester on the tag. I was kinda hoping for a, a cotton hat, but it looks good. I'm happy with it. Uh, definitely an Easter style looking hat with the egg and all. So, uh, there's that pin up close again, but yeah, guys, the good egg. All right, y'all, that's it for today. That's all the hats. I have one more hat on the way. It's called the hair. It's kind of a gray pink plaid hat. So, uh, I'll upload that video when i get it and let you guys check it out but uh i believe it's a re-release so a lot of y'all already have it but it's uh it's brand new for me so uh but anyway guys till next time later